Welcome everyone to this training on Catalon Studio. Okay, so here in Catalon Studio, we have different modes or different ways of creating automation tests. So here we have different modes. We have a record mode. We have manual mode, and then we have script mode. So these are the three modes of recording. Uh, of creating and generating tests in Catalon Studio, and we will look at all these three modes one by one. So let us see the recording mode. So I will go to Catalon Studio, and here you can go to your test cases folder, and we have to create a new test case. Now you can go to your file menu, and go to new, and we have our option. to create a test case here so you can create a test case from here or you can go to this new drop down and we have a option to create a test case or you can directly go to the test case folder here in the test explorer and you can do a right click and new and create a test case now we also have a option to create a folder so you can organize and arrange your test cases in folders so i will create a folder first and i will name this as day 1 and say okay and now i will right click on day 1 folder and say new test case and i will name my test case as test 1 and say okay so you can give some description which is optional and you can also give some tags which is optional so tags will be useful in searching of a test case and both of these description and tags are optional and you can say okay and it will create a test case and you can see this is the test case editor here and we have test one created so here step one is create a new test case and you can go to file and go to new and say test case or you can go to new button drop down and go to test case or you can go to text explorer and go to test case folder right click and go to new and select test case step 2 is provide test case name and save so here i have created a new test case and now i have to do a recording so for recording uh, let us take some demo website so i will go here let me select some demo website for recording and let me see this okay so this is our demo website and here we have this login this is a orange hrm demo website and here we have this uh, username admin and the password being used is admin123 and i can use this to log into this website i will also copy this in the notes this is the website and credentials are admin and admin123 and i will also copy this on the chat window so just in case you are doing hands on along with me you can see this this is the link and the credentials so here i can give the username admin and password admin123 and click on login and this should log me in and here is the home page of this website
so it's taking some time to load yes you can see the home page now and we have all these links and options here and here i can go to any of the links i can record this and then there is this arrow here drop down where i can click on log out and this will this will log me out so this is what i'm going to record so i will copy this link and go to catalon studio and here you will see this option to record web so here is the button which will record our test so i will go to record web and you can give the url so i will just give the url here and then on this drop down here you can select the browser that you want to use for recording so i'm selecting chrome it says chrome is recommended i will select chrome and you can see it is starting a chrome browser and is navigating to the website and you can see this here and all the steps i do on the website here will get recorded here and you can also see wherever i am taking my cursor it is highlighting the object so this is the username text box this is the password and this is the login button so these are the three elements i want to interact with so here we have to on main toolbar click record web provide the website url and select browser and then record your steps so i will go here and i will give the username admin and in the password i will say admin123 and i will click on the login button and you can see everything is getting recorded here and now i will click on this arrow drop down and select log out and it is it has logged out and you can see it here so all these steps are recorded so here i can say this is step 4 and then we have step 5 where we are recording the steps and we will also verify so all these steps are recorded and now if you see here we have a link called show captured objects so as we have recorded our steps it has captured all the objects that we have interacted with and you can see all the objects here so as you click on this link show captured objects you will see all these objects so here is the all these objects so we have this a uh, text box for username we have a password we have submit button or login button and then we have a log out button and all these elements or objects are here now you can also highlight the objects on the web page so for example if i see this here here i will select this username text box and you can see we have a verify and highlight button here so it says verify and highlight if i click this you can see it is highlighting this here so as i click this verify and highlight it is highlighting this username if i go to the password this is password and i say verify and highlight it is highlighting this and when i click on this submit or login button and say verify and highlight it is highlighting the login button now here 
on this window you can also change the names in case you want to give some meaningful names for example uh, let us say here this is my username text box so here i will say this is a i will give some different name i will say this is text box and i will say this is username so i will say like this similarly this is password i will say this is text box underscore password and similarly i can give other names so for example uh, here we have the login button so here i will say this is button underscore login so just in case you want to give some meaningful names you can give it here and also if there is some object which has a long name which has recorded a long name you can also shorten it so for example here you can see this is a really long name which it has recorded so here i will say i will remove this and i will just keep a short name here and that's it again we have this and that's it so you can do all this and then once it is done you can press ok and you can see all the objects here and also you can check or uncheck any object in case you do not want to save any of these objects while recording you might have clicked somewhere and it has recorded some extra objects you can check or uncheck from here and then you can say ok and it will get saved to the object repository so here i'll write down the steps number six is view captured objects and edit if required if you want to change any names or anything you can do that and step number seven is save Uh, so there is a question will we have access to the notes you are creating uh, yes i will be uh, sending a pdf file for all these notes so you will be getting all these notes okay you're welcome so here uh, i will say save so i will just click on okay and here you can see again we have got a message cannot save entity file path length limit exceeded 265255 you should shorten the name and try again so i believe there is some object name which is still very long so if i check there will be some object name which is very long let me just check so we have this and then this is the username this is div login and I think there are some spaces. I will remove the spaces as well. And should be okay now if I try to save this now. And it is now saved. And now you will see on the inside the object repository folder you will have all these objects created so all these objects are captured now and if you see on your test case you can see all these steps available so we have open browser then navigate to url and it is navigating to this url orange hrm demo and then we click on this link and i think this is extra so i can also do a right click and disable or i can delete by using this delete button here and then we are setting the username again this is a extra step i can disable or delete it so it's uh, useful that uh, you disable it first and then run your test and check if everything is fine then you can delete the step and then we are setting the password and then we are clicking on the login button and then it is clicking on the drop down and log out button and at the end you can also close the browser but it is fine we will do it later you can also add it from here 
so you can click on add and you can see this is a new step added and you can start typing close browser and say close and this should close the browser now you can save your test from here so these are the save buttons and then we will run our test so here if you see this run button we have this drop down and then we have different options so we can run on a chrome browser a firefox internet explorer and all these options so i will select chrome and this should start our test on a chrome browser so it opens a chrome browser and logs in and there is a error here so it entered username and password but it did not click on login button and if i see you can see the log here logs are here so here if you see here we have this input orange hrm demo submit and here we have actually changed it name to button login which it could not change it here so i will just drag this object and put it here so this is the login button and you can also double click here and then select the object from here and i will save this again and i will run this on a chrome new session so it opens a chrome browser username and password and logs in and clicks on the arrow and logs out and you can see if you go to the log viewer here and you double click it you can see all the steps everything is passed and we are able to run this and i will just delete these extra steps which are not required so this is our test created and also you can go to your project and go to settings so i'm going to my project and going to settings and here you will have a option for execution and here you can set the default execution browser so i will set it to chrome so it will always by default run on chrome when you click on the run button there is a default wait time for element so by default it is 30 seconds you can uh, increase or decrease it from here so i'll just say 10 seconds and then we have a option here delay between actions so just in case you want to have some delay between actions you can give it here so i can say one second so that i can uh, show you the steps running so i'm just going to apply and say okay and save this and run this so now when i will click on the run button it will by default start on the chrome browser so you can see it is starting a chrome browser and this time it will be a little slower because we are having a delay of one second between actions so it has added a username password and clicks on login and now it clicks on the drop down and clicks on log out and now this is done and closes the browser so this is done and this is how you can create a test in a record mode okay any questions or any doubts here so i hope everything is fine now uh i believe you do not have any questions or doubts and this topic is fine okay so this was a record recording mode and this is how you can very quickly create your test cases in record mode the next mode we have is a manual mode so we can also create the tests in a manual mode and for that we have to spy the objects or we have to capture the objects now when you do a recording mode you can see you just have to record your steps and all the objects get captured and all the actions and all the steps get recorded however when you are doing in a manual mode then you will need to capture the objects separately and then you have to create your steps in a manual way